Hey guys, how's it going? It's Cal, again. Uh, now I want to record a video to show you how I annotate, I annotate can play nicely with Dropbox and how I go about doing it. Um, and just off the bat, I'm going to let you know that it's the remote login way where you log into your computer from class via the iPad. Um, so basically, just a quick overview. And we talked about this at the last um, iPad talk we had, the Tech Tuesday talks. So if you missed it, um, I know most of you wanted to be there, were down to be there, but might not have been able to because of scheduling conflicts. So for those of you who weren't able to be there, this is for you guys. Uh, so I annotate plays really nicely with Dropbox. Um, the web download thing is how you set up your Dropbox. And once it's set up, you can um, click it, and I'll show you all your Dropbox folders. I'm just going to go to Micro, Combined Exam 2. It should be Micro Exam 2, not Combined Exam 2, but that's another story um, and you can download um, whatever's in your Dropbox whatever lecture you've put in there and then um, annotate it so I'm just gonna select one whatever uh, and you can annotate it and then once you're done you can hit this up arrow upload to account and select Dropbox account and it'll upload whatever annotations you've made and so that on your computer or wherever you have your Dropbox set up it will have the most up-to-date file with um, all the newest annotations. Um, the only downside is that you have to have the lectures in your Dropbox folder from the day before or the night before or wherever uh, before you come to class essentially uh, and you have to do this on the computer. Uh, if you, if you, you know, forget to do that uh, you come to class and you notice that the newest lecture isn't in your Dropbox you have to open up Safari, go to Merlin, get that lecture, uh, and then you you know open it and I annotate, and it doesn't work too well because it'll give it some weird name like QWH123, and then it doesn't upload nicely uh, from I annotate into Dropbox. You can't just hit this up arrow and have it work uh, because it didn't come from Dropbox to begin with. Um, in I annotate it, it only works with Dropbox. If a file was downloaded from Dropbox, annotated in I annotate, it can go back to Dropbox. That's the only way it works. So a way around it is you come to class, um, quote unquote, forget to download it the night before the lecture into Dropbox. Um, you can just come to class, log in to your computer from class, and put it in Dropbox from your computer. It's a little confusing, so let me just show you how I do it. Um, you know, here's a scenario. I come to class, forgot to do it the night before. Um, I'm going to open up this program called Jump Desktop right here at the bottom. It's a program that will let me log into my laptop, which is at home. Uh, the laptop has to be turned on. You have to turn off the sleep or the screensaver or whatever settings you have um, so it doesn't go to sleep. Um, and once you set up this app, you can click on your computer and it will connect to it. It's close your eyes. I'm going to type in my password. And now it'll let me uh, log into my laptop. So here's my laptop screen. I've already opened up Chrome so I could just make it easy. Um, so I'll just go to Merlin. Open up Micro. Dr. James, don't know who that is, but that's all right. Right click on it save link as and I'm just gonna save it in my Dropbox save so I essentially did the step I was supposed to do the night before but I did it while I was in class so this way the file I just downloaded is in my Dropbox now I can go back to I annotate it will be in my Dropbox I can download it annotate it and then upload it so to show you there's I annotate I'm going to click the down arrow, and in my Dropbox, there's the file I just put in my Dropbox after remotely logging into my laptop. So I'm just going to download it. Annotate it. and then hit the upload button and now these annotations, the very important annotations I made are going to be um, synced with the file that are, that's in my Dropbox. So kind of gives you an idea of how, how to go about 